Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing day. If you're new here, I'm Zenith and welcome to Gardening Mindfully. I hope you will subscribe so we can grow. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so very much for your support. Today, I would like to share with you some footage from my great grand aunt's garden. My aunt lives in the parish of Trelawney, which is located on the northern part of the island of Jamaica. Now, Trelawney is a part of what's called the cockpit country. This area tends to be remote, it is mountainous, it is raw rainforest. And since it's in the mountains, it tends to be much cooler all year round than at sea level where I grew up. So a lot of the plants in her garden, whether they're in pots or in the ground, they tend to grow to three to four feet tall. Whereas for me in my zone 8A garden here in Georgia, I grow them indoors as house plants because they're in the mountains and it tends to rain a lot. They solely depend on rainwater. There is a lot of limestone. And so with limestone comes very good drainage because limestone does not retain water. However, because of the heavy limestone, there is not much soil. So there's very little soil there. So what they have going for them is they get a lot of rain, they have very good drainage, and the temperature is cool most of the time. I'll see you at the end of the tour. The entrance to her home is a natural arch. And on the left there, that red, that's poinsettia. So this is a natural arch. Not sure what it's made out of, but you can tell it's been there for a while. Now again, on the left, that red, that pop of red, this is Bougainvillea. And this is December, around Christmas time. So that red is just beautiful. Continuing down, you'll notice that's red ginger on the left. Now looking straight ahead, that's more poinsettia, that pop of red, and you'll see how tall that is. And look at that mountain range. So they're high up in the hills. So this part of the country stays cool most of the time. She has citrus, there's also cactus, and you see that orchid growing in the citrus tree. So we have Croton, that yellow. She has been gardening here for quite some time. So these plants have been here for a number of years. So you can tell that they have been established. Look at that orchid again growing up in that citrus tree. She also has roses. We just saw a white rose. Now let's take a closer look at that rose. Look how beautiful that is. Just beautiful. And here my nephew is showing that he was gifted a start of Ontarium. Now I'm not sure if that's the pink or the white, but she has both. Here we are seeing the pink Ontarium. There's also some white. This garden also has many different varieties of begonias. They shine in this garden. So you'll notice that this one that's glowing right here, if you look over to, so it's really glowing right here. Looking over to the left, you'll see that it's a much darker leaf. So it depends on how much sunlight they get. Here's also another 
begonia. So begonias and anteriums really shine in this garden. Now look at that beautiful white anterium. Now remember with the anteriums, what we're, the white that you're seeing, that's not actually the flower. That's a modified leaf that's called a spathe. And the actual flower is right there. That's the flower. That's the spadix. And that's the actual flower. Now this is the pink. So you see the spadix, which is the flowers, greenish in color. The underside, not much different from the spathe. This crown of thorns or Euphorbia milii does really well here as well. And I think she also have a white. So this is like a pink. It's not quite red. And here we have the shrimp plant. I also have the shrimp plant, but I have mine in a pot that I keep indoors and I take outside during the spring and summer months. Just beautiful. Now here's the white crown of thorns and she has them grown in a pot. More anterium, more begonias. Begonias really shine in this garden. So they're loving the cool, temperature, the shade. Look how beautiful that is. Simply gorgeous. That's a begonia. Fantastic. More anterium, more begonias. Looking back towards the back of her home. Now I have not seen that begonia before. That is gorgeous. She also has agapanthus growing here. So you'll notice that long strappy leaf. That, that's not the agapanthus. Here are the agapanthos. Now I forgot to ask her which color this is, but look how healthy they are. Those are the long strappy leaves that almost looks like an amaryllis. That's agapanthos. Great pop of color. We have more croton. And who do we have there? Just resting. Uh, did we scare him off? And that's a Hawaiian Thai plant. It's loving the shade. But look at the poinsettias. They are tall and gangly looking, but that pop of red in December. Just awesome. It's nice and cool. And you see how rocky it is. So this part of the country as I mentioned, is known as cockpit country. And it is known to be loaded with limestone. So there's really not a lot of soil. 
which is the reason why she gardens in pots as well because they're very little soil and again with the limestone we have more begonias there with the limestone it does not retain water so the drainage is excellent and they do receive a lot of rainfall in this part of the island now that's the orchid that we saw that's growing into the citrus tree is this an orchid yeah that's the orchid, it's a ground orchid. Yes. And I believe that's a ground orchid. Look how beautiful that arch is. I'm not sure how long she has been gardening here, but you can see how established these plants are. And I'm pretty sure this garden is much older than I am. This red ginger make a great cut flower and they work really well in flower arrangements. They are a tropical evergreen perennial plant and the red you're seeing are actually called bracts. The actual flower is small, white and not very noticeable. Here is a pink ginger also great in floral arrangements so you'll notice that this red ginger is growing in full sun which is what they need in order to thrive they also require constant moisture so being in a rainforest and where it's always raining is ideal for the red ginger but look at these poinsettias they're over eight feet tall. My favorite plant by far on this tour is the Anteriums. Just look at that shade of pink. Magnificent. think of the tour let me know what are your thoughts her red ginger and her poinsettias were all aglow and they were just showing out they were just magical to see thank you so very much for joining me and i hope we continue this journey of joy and discover together if you have not yet subscribed kindly subscribe like and share this video. Happy garden everyone and see you in the next video. Bye for now.